Hey, what's up guys? This is Terabyte, and welcome back to Final Fantasy IV. So, we're still in the Eblon Cave. I accidentally went the right way, so I found everything I'm not supposed to find yet. Ooh, bomb core, you say. And how does one get over to this one here? And then I found one of these damn eggs again. I swear, am I like tripping over these things? They just kind of ominously roll out of the way into the uh, into the walkway. I don't know. Or do you just trip over them? <laughs> I kind of like the idea that you just kind of trip over over them. And, like, you go to brush it out of the dirt, flies up and smacks you in the face. I, I, I think I like that. It's pretty funny. Hmm. Goodbye! Nice! There we go. That'll work. I can deal with that. Tiny Mage does big damage. No! Fire? No, stop trying to kill me. Thank you! <laughs> mm. Well, maybe I have to go up that way. Attack! Go, everyone! Show them what you're made of. That's not bad. For a white mage. Healers, you are useful, but you do so little damage. So little damage. So when nobody needs healing, you're just like, eh, eh. It's cute, but it's not that helpful. <laughs> Why? Stop trying to thunder everybody to death. Defend. Hit him in the face. Cool. Oh, 
helpful. Either one of you can can hit somebody anytime. Cool. Oh my god. Stop. You take too long, just just hit him. Back slap him. Okay, that's not bad. Defend, attack, attack, plus almost between the two of them, they almost got there. No, no, thank goodness. Man, that was one thick shell. anymore. I'm not even taking that long. Although, to be fair, I am taking a couple turns. Not bad. Something's going down. Um, let's see. No, Dwarven Axe is better. At least, uh, we meet at last. I've been looking forward to this. Rubicunt. Should I know you from somewhere? I'm Prince Edge of Eblon. In case you didn't hear me say it. Eblon, I'm afraid I do not want to know of the place of which you speak. Then let me help you remember. He looks a lot more like 
the devil, like, generally speaking, than, uh, anything. <laughs> Interesting. I, I like the big flowy robe. No, you don't use that on him, dummy. Pitiful. You gonna backhand him into my party? Allow me to show you real flame. Inferno. <laughs> yeah, he ain't kidding. Oh no, the party fell. Damn you! You've strength worthy enough of pride, but not nearly enough to think of challenging me. <laughs> Hone your skills. I'll look forward to facing you again when you have. Come back here! Have at you! Are you alright? I lost, and he got away. Of course I'm not alright. We came to find Rubikin, too, and the crystals he holds. Rubikin's mine! You stay out of this! I'm going to end him with with my own hands! Your enemy is an elemental archfiend, your highness. You've seen his strength for yourself. Eh, don't mistake me for some pampered prince. The Ebelinese royal family is heir to the secrets of the ninja masters of old. I don't need help from lesser men. Enough! I can't watch another person go off to die. First Tella, then Yang, and then Sid too. All of them. All of them! Hey, hey I didn't... I mean... Rydia. Sniffle. I'm kind of curious as to why... I mean, I know this isn't a very important scene, but I'm curious as to why this one isn't voice acted, because it does have an, a little bit of emotional impact. Um, and it just from the scenes that they've chosen previously, I would have thought this one would have been voice acted. Um, because it's so poignant for her. Um, she, Cause she hasn't spoken up this entire time about the friends they've lost. Well, she, she may have, but not quite to this extent where she's really like put her foot down and said, you guys need to stop. You know, um, and they just met Edge, so I, I would have thought that this would have been a good one, but I guess not. Anyway, Rubikin is the strongest of the four Archfiends. Whether we can, whether we can even hope to defeat him, I cannot say. But we have no choice. We must take back the crystals he holds. It doesn't look like I have much choice. I can't leave a pretty girl crying. Let's do this together then, just this once. Ooh, he called her a pretty girl. Humph, too weak to stand and still as arrogant as could be. It's nigh on comical. Rosa, do you think you could? Of course, Kira. Thank you, my dear. You're not so rough on the eyes yourself. Right then. Time for us to break into the tower, now that we're all fast friends. That was an awfully fast recovery. The Ninja Edge joined the party. Now, I know a lot of people don't. There are people that don't like Edge. I personally do. I think he's funny. Um, and I, I do think he's, um, com like, like Kane said, comically arrogant. That, that does... You know, make me laugh. Three decoys. Holy crap. And then does that just lead us? The Tower of Babel. Yet again! In case you're not tired of that yet. So, let's go down here and we'll do the savey save. Oh, uh, and then I gotta readjust the party. But yeah, I, I get people who don't like Edge. Um, 
And this is kind of late in the game to be introducing new characters. Um, but... I think that they already spelled it out for you when you were talking to all the soldiers. He's gonna be young, he's gonna be foolhardy. Um, I completely get not liking him because of that. Um, I get not liking him because of that, but at the same time I'm just like, eh, he is what he is. So. Here. There we go. That'll work. But yeah, I, I get not liking him. But I, I happen to think he's a, not like, oh my god, the coolest character ever. But I like him. And I gotta say, this game definitely started my obsession with the Dragoon class. I fucking love dragons. And it's like, no, Kane is not the most perfect character ever. Um, in fact, some of the stuff he does is downright bizarre and stupid. But, I still like it. So, uh, three in the back. We'll do... Oh, see. <laughs> well, there's just no good way to do it. You're separating all the. All right, you're separating the two lovebirds. Oh. Thirty-five. You need some level up, son. All right. Let's go to this equipment thing. Um, Oh my god. We're doing that. Abilities. Yeah, that never works. Hmm. So that's how you use all the augment stuff. Okay. I honestly have never played around with any of it. I know. I know. Shame on me. But, here you go. Okay. I'm going to go back. I think I'm going to futz around with this last uh, couple of chests. And then we will go back to the Tower of Babel. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching.